Mexico. Skating into the final. Stefan and Christine. Stefan and Christina, everybody. Look at this. So we've got a retro. Yeah, it's, it's <laughs> lovely nice. to see you guys. Uh, first things first, we have to go on. Obviously, uh, everybody knows now that Andy has broken his ankle. Um, training very hard to try and do his performance for us on Exclusive. You were there. Both yeah. of you were there, actually. Um, what do you remember happening, Christina? Um, I w Andy and I were training hard all week, and he was doing really well. His lifts were great. He was strong. And it was just a freaky accident. Um, he had me up in a lift. He started scissoring his feet, and that's when he went over. And he managed. He was such a gentleman. He put me down first, and then he fell. And so, uh, so he overbalanced like with you, sort of over his shoulders. Exactly. He yeah. bananaed backward. And then, and then, Steph, you were there as well. It's just hard watching that. It's, it, even the rerun to hear someone in that much pain. He was in agony, and, and he he dealt with it so brilliantly. But I mean, you don't wish that on anyone. And it was such a bad thing to happen. It's such bad luck. It's terrifying, I, I'd imagine, for both of you, particularly for you, though, Stefan, if you think about in terms of what's at stake here. And we laugh and we sort of, sort of, you know, we kind of, part of us wants us to see those falls. But the reality of it is you can break your ankle as easily or as neck. that, can't you? Or your neck. And yeah. that's exactly, you know, the way we're approaching it this year is, is, is safety before anything else. We want to have a lot of fun, but, you know, without the control, yeah. um, it, there, there will be no show. And, and uh, for all the, I mean, for the, for the, for the girl skaters, it's, there's so much trust that has to go into the unknown for the guy that's lifting them sure. and doing stuff. And, yeah. I mean, she's one of the bravest people I know. Yeah. But she is a bit of a lump, though, isn't she? So, to be honest, you <laughs> can't yeah. blame me for dropping I know. Her, so. I mean. uh, it's harsh, but I have to say, the show must go on. Uh, yep. The two of you are back uh, for various reasons which we'll come to. Of course, it was semi-final week uh, for you guys. You've both been there. Um, yeah. What's this week like, Christina? Um, this week, there's a lot of stress and pressure, and everyone is exhausted. So they're pushing themselves, but their bodies don't want to do it. And it's basically just trying to take it a step at a time. Yeah. Your, your semi-final was a great performance, Stefan. I think you said you felt alive. You were, you were yeah. really, really thriving on it. And what was it like actually making it through to the final? It was, it was, it was a great moment, actually. The, the whole evening, on a personal level, um, I felt that Christina and me were really beginning to gel together and, and to be trusted at the start of the routine uh, on my own. The beginning kind of gave me this level of independence that I could thrive in. Because people have talked about that actually having the, the, the professional skater not holding your hand and actually letting you do some independent stuff yeah. together. That's a big thing. Yeah, definitely. I mean, there's a lot of support having your other, your, your, having a partner there on the ice, even if you're not holding their hand. Just sometimes when I'm skating with Christina and she'll skate away from me and I'll, and I'll go, ah, oh, ah, <laughs> come <laughs> back. <laughs> <Too far. laughs> but it's just, it's nice to have that support. I mean, initially it feels like you, you're worried that you might trip them up or, you know, give them a blade in the, in the leg. But yeah. actually it's, it's great when we're together skating. It just, trust. obviously I'm watching a, a, someone who's skating perfectly and I, I can at least be under the illusion that I'm skating like yeah, that yeah, too. Yeah, of course. Until I watch the reruns. <laughs> <laughs> then you see it's not quite like you've seen it in your well, head. Well, I'm doing what you're doing. No, you're uh, not. Uh, now, of course, uh, there's been lots of comparisons because this is the second year that we've done this. How do you think the class of 2006 would have compared to the class of 2007? Definitely up the ante this year. Would you agree that you think that this year the standard's higher? Yeah, I mean, definitely. We were going to the unknown last year. Maybe it's, maybe it's because they're naturally good or maybe it's because they knew the limits they could work themselves up to. They had things to aim for. I don't know. Generally, How far do you think you two would have got this year, Christina? Oh, it's really hard to tell because everyone gets better weekly and some people plateau, other people um, improve, but mm. I mean, yeah, it's really hard to tell. It's and I don't adapt. Would you have made it through to the semi-final, to the final? I think we would have had a good chance. Yeah. Um, you just think it's semi finals? I'm sure we Well, this is the thing that we, we were talking about because you, you guys are back in training, not just because you're going on tour, but yes. because we've got a bit of an exciting show happening the week yeah. after the final, haven't we? Yeah, more news. There's an exclusive show the coming to ITV. Of yeah. The champion of champions. So, what Indeed. we're doing is we're getting the top three from last year, which is uh, Bonnie, Bonnie Gaynor, Gaynor and, and yourselves, and against the top three, who we still is undecided, yeah. Yeah. from this year. I know. It's going to be, be a really big exciting. fight of the best. It's like yeah. Top Gun on ice. Yes. <laughs> Are you feeling confident? Have you had to? Have you had to sort of up the ante in terms of your performances? Then, bearing in mind you're going to be up against the likes of, of yeah. Q and Claire or Emily or. Don't... I think at the moment that we we cannot think about the competition. It's about being the best that we can be. And we said this last year. Mm. Um, it's about uh, the way we connect with each other, and, and obviously, most importantly, me listening to exactly what she has to tell me. <laughs> Doing as you're told. Uh, exactly. Yeah. Because when I'm, we're out there, she's the boss. You know, and we've got to kind of make. <laughs> 
No, yeah, you are. You, you know, if I don't listen, I just fall flat on my face. Yeah. And we're doing some really dangerous things. Uh, everyone on the ice is always doing dangerous things because you, you just want experienced skater working with someone who's not experienced. Absolutely, so you've, you've got, got to, do to it. have safety. Yeah. Okay. Well, obviously the dangerous things are going to happen in a, in a two weeks' time. We have, of course, our semi-final and final to get through. What we'd like you to do, and you can join in now, Christina, seeing as you're out, is place yourselves on top of the skates on the uh, celebs you think will win the whole thing. So, Stefan, <laughs> we haven't got much time. If you want to whack um, yourself onto your I celebrity, wanna, I want to lend my support to Duncan because compared to last year. If, um, if I was to assume that well, so, you know, someone uh, on, on this show, it'd be Dunk, he's, he's, you think he's got to potential. He's really he's making a good run for it. He's got a background. It's not a sporting yeah, background. He's enough. adapting perfectly. He's okay. doing really Christina, well. you've been at this year so far. Who are you going to go uh, for? I'm going to go for Kieran. Kieran, you think he's got it in the bag? Kieran's amazing. Personality, sportsmanship. He's got the whole package. Excellent. Well, look, guys, it's lovely to have you with us. Uh, good luck with the best and champion champions and, and the you. tour and everything. But uh, for the time being, good luck with the training. Uh, Stefan and Christina, everybody. <laughs> Still to come this afternoon, and he's going to be hobbling over to wardrobe. Can't believe we're making him walk there uh, to see Stephen Adnitz as we reveal Claire's costume for this weekend. And the big question of the week was Jane Torville seen roller booting in Great Yarmouth? Turn your phone off! Oh, you can tell he's not on the show anymore. Hi, Mum, not now. <laughs> was Jane Torville seen roller booting in Great Yarmouth circa 1970? We're going to find out from the woman herself. She's here with Big Chris in just a sec. Whatever you do, don't go away. Can't believe you have your phone off.